suspect in Gilgo Beach killings led a life of chaos and control. Rex Uriman was painstaking in his Manhattan professional pursuits. At home in Massico Park, he left neighbors discomfited. The architect accused in a string of Long Island killings has been years late in paying hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes, repeatedly filed lawsuits accusing drivers of injuring him in car accidents, and still lives in his childhood home, according to a review of public records and court documents. Rex Hureman, who police say murdered at least three women, lived in the same house he was raised in a few miles across the bay from the beach where bodies were unearthed more than a decade ago, he said in a 2018 deposition. Between 2014 and 2022, Hureman filed four lawsuits in New York courts against drivers who he said had hit him with their cars, causing him serious and permanent personal injuries, court records show. Three of the cases were settled or discontinued, while the most recent one is ongoing. In his April 2018 deposition in one of the cases, Hureman discussed his life and work saying that he lived at his childhood home in the Long Island suburb of Massaqua Park with his wife of then 22 years, daughter and stepson. At one point in the deposition, when asked if he played sports, he said, really only thing I competed in was competition rival. Hureman appears to have had issues paying his taxes going back more than a decade. Nassau County records show Hureman was subject to six tax liens filed by the IRS in Nassau County between 2010 and 2021. According to the liens, Human owed a total of more than $425,000 for taxes he had failed to pay going back to 2005. Add feedback. The IRS later filed tax lien releases showing that Human repaid or no longer owed about $215,078 of that debt with the most recent documents being filed in October 2022. According to the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance, Human and his wife, Asa Ellerup, also currently owe a total of more than $81,500 in personal income tax to the state, with the tax bills having accrued since November 2020. Other court records shed light on the technical and at times mundane work Human has done as an architect. Human examined water damage on a building in Manhattan last year and offered an analysis of proposed waterproofing according to a letter he wrote to an attorney. Records filed in another case show emails he sent coordinating a renovation project in the Bronx in 2017. In a civil court hearing in 2018, Hureman described his work as a general architecture and said he works for clients to resolve issues with the State Department of Buildings. An associate described the work as not a pleasant process. I don't want to be Mr. Hureman in that respect for a minute.